Hi, welcome back to Hinduism Q&A. This is the second part of the topic we were looking at last time, which is karma. Before we move on, let's quickly recap on the classes of karma to refresh our memories. We saw in the last session that there were four classes of karma, and these were Sanchitha karma, which is the grand total of all karma through all of our lifetime. Prarabdha karma, which is karma that has ripened and is ready for us to experience in this lifetime. Kriyaman karma, which is the karma generated by current actions and gets fed back into Sanchitta karma. And Agami karma, which is our actions that we contemplate but don't necessarily yet put into action. Now let's take a look at the intensities of the karma. There are three levels of intensity and these are Dhridha karma, Dhridha Adhridha karma and Adhridha karma. Dhridha means firm or fixed. Adhridha is the opposite meaning not firm or fixed. From this we can infer that Dhrid Adhrid is the middle ground. When our karma is Dhrid, it means it's pretty much fixed and not open to being changed. These karmas, whether pleasurable or painful, will be experienced because the cause of them is very intense. Sometimes things happen in our lives, no matter what you do to avoid them. For example, a lady who may be in great health may be unable to have children no matter what medical or alternative treatment is undertaken. This is Dhrid Prarabdha Karma, meaning fixed, ripe karma that must be experienced. When looking at horoscopes, we see this in our karmic blueprint because there will be many indications of the inability to bear children. We call this confluence. Dhrid Karma lacks the concept of free will since it simply must happen. If we look at the example last time of Dhritarashtra throwing the burning net on the birds and killing a hundred of them, the suffering he caused and the intent behind it meant that he was not going to get away with it. Now if he knew in his lifetime that he had done this and tried to atone for it by doing remedies, he would probably have found that the force of karma would put constant obstacles in place when trying to perform them, or his motivation to perform such remedies would not be given any strength. I would say, however, that I'm a firm believer in the idea that no prayer goes unanswered and I have observed with my clients that intense yagyas or pujas will always yield some relief. When our karma is dhrid adhrid, it means that the karma can be altered, but it will take a meaningful amount of effort to modify it. The reason it has both words in it, i.e. fixed, non-fixed, shows that it will deliver its results based on the absence of effort or the application of effort. An example here is that in a previous life, you caused someone who couldn't conceive hurt through your words. That karma can manifest now and maybe you would have a delay or difficulty in having a child. The offence was not so heinous that it cannot be atoned for, so this lifetime you may have to put effort to do some remedies such as yagyas, bujas or even IVF to obtain a child. In the horoscope, this would show with a few indications of afflictions to the related area. With this karma, one would expect relief with concerted effort in remedies and results, if due, could possibly be expected after one to two months. Adhrith karma is very fluid and so can easily be modified. If, for example, you in a previous life forgot to pay someone back a small amount of money you borrowed, then it may cause you some trouble, but a donation to charity or helping someone in need would easily circumvent it. In the horoscope, you would only expect a very mild affliction to the area in this example related to wealth. Here, one would quickly expect to see results of remedies. This cycle of birth, rebirth and working out karmas continues until the soul has experienced the various facets of life and cleared its karmas. I know there's a lot of information to absorb here, but the concept of karma is so important and profound, I felt it was worth spending some time on. It may help you look at and alter your day-to-day -day life in a different way. Thank you for watching and see you next time.